What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to our best center backs for V2.4. So this is continuation, a continuation of my best center backs and best players per position for all budgets. We are going to have some really good budget center halves in here and we're also going to have the upper tier, but we are taking V2.4 gameplay changes into consideration. So there's a couple of changes, there's a couple of talking points. We're going to get straight into it. Spoiler alert, Kunde is going to feature heavily in this video, but we're going to have a rip down of their stats, their abilities, and obviously with the way that V2.4 is playing as well, there are a couple of changes with how you train players. So kicking us off, we have the eFootball 2022 darling of Dream Team. It is Vardiol. He is a fantastic player. If you're looking for a budget option to buy, we will get to that in a second. But look at the stats. He has really, really nice stats. Obviously, defensive awareness is where you're going to have to train most. But he's got interception, blocker, fighting spirit, unbelievable stats for a center half or a left back if you want to play him there, right? As part of a back man tree or a back tree or a back five or a back four, he can fit in anywhere. When we max him out, we're going to have 64 progression points and that is how we max him out there if you want to stop it and pause it on any of these you can he's only 96,000. next up we've got ginter he's a similar player similarly priced he's a bit taller than vardial he's actually a good pairing with vardial if you are looking to have a cheap budget center half partnership interception blocker he's also got one touch pass which is huge for where v2.4's gameplay is at the moment right so low lofted pass weighted pass one touch pass but he also has blocker he's got 191 centimeter meters as a height and he's also got aerial superiority so you don't need to pump that many points into heading because he has the player skills to back it up he's also got excellent tight possession that's going to be a big feature of v2.4 as well rudiger falls down the list a bit even though these aren't in like kind of tiers um Rudiger is one of the best players. Now, I think his standard version falls a little bit flat compared to the nominating contract, but obviously the nominating contract for newcomers, you probably won't have him uh, and you won't be able to get him unless they bring out a new one. But an absolute monster as a destroyer, 92 overall, usually on good form as well. The one thing that lets him down is obviously his tight possession and his passing. I mean, he is literally just a stopper and that is it, but he does not have blocker uh, in his player, player skills here. So it is a little bit of a downside to him, but the rest of his stats are nice Ruben Diaz he's one of the most expensive center halves in the game he's one of the best center halves in the game and you can match him with Van Dyke, right Van Dyke is not in this list because him and Ruben Diaz are pretty much yin for yang they're exactly kind of very very similar players obviously Van Dyke's a little bit more um you know taller and stuff but in terms of player skills he does have everything that you could possibly want except blocker so that kind of takes a couple of little points away from him the big thing with V2.4, lads, I will be doing videos on this. The big thing with V2.4 is the dribbling. And if you don't have a couple of players littered across your team that are able to be comfortable on the ball, you're going to struggle. Speaking of which, Timber fits the bill. He was my favorite player in eFootball 2022 in the first launch for the first three months, I'd say. And he's probably my favorite player now to use with the nominating contract. His standard version, they have nerfed it a little bit. It's not as powerful as it once was, but you're still going to get your interception, blocker, fighting spirits, sliding tackle. You also have one touch pass here um an acrobatic clear which is very very important for this card defensive awareness goes to 91 but the real kind of benefit of having timber in your squad is very very mobile he's a very versatile player mobile fast his speed and his stamina are key that's a big thing as well Lissandro martinez makes up the list here he's an addition on from last year's list of eFootball 2022 for center halves and he's got everything that you could possibly want having an amazing season at manchester united interception blocker fighting spirit aerial superiority but he's also got one touch pass low lofted pass way to pass and fighting spirit and sliding tackle he goes up to a 90 overall as i said les you can pause it these are the training guides for him if you have any more questions let me know in the comments below 60 progression points we're going to pump it into his defense and we also have enough on the ball skills to be able to like play out from the back as a back line as well that's very uh defensive delict he is somebody that i haven't really used until v2.4 he's got every single like player stat that you could possibly want for v2.4 right interception and blocker yes but he's also got fighting spirit and one touch pass so it means you can actually play a little bit of ball with him 
and you don't need to have stamina in the 80s when he has got fighting spirit even though the stamina is still a little bit kind of uh you know like a bit dodgy uh, i do think that his stats are more than good enough to get him into your squad if you're looking to have about maybe 260 grand to spare to buy him excellent defensive stats excellent in the air and not that slow Koulibaly is very similar to him as well he's got every stat that you could possibly want he's got he's pretty much got every defensive player skill you can see there from heading to fighting spirit with sliding tackle blocker interception man marking area superiority and captaincy thrown in for good measure excellent defensive awareness the only thing you need to work, probably think about with Koulibaly is his stamina right putting a couple of points into his stamina is a must you're not going to have any uh you know ball playing skills with Koulibaly he is literally just you know intercept the ball and pump and clear it don't be trying to play passes with him you will get punished you will get caught in possession but excellent defense stats otherwise Marquinius I think he is the best player in the game I think for an outright center half right a little bit small, obviously, um, compared to Van Dijk or compared to Koulibaly. He's not the physical presence that you might possibly want, but he's got every single player skill that you could possibly want, as well as a few heading uh, or a few passing skills as well. He's 300,000 GP. He's got defense stats in the 90s, 73 acceleration, 73 balance, 78 stamina and 76 speed. But he's also got very, very, very solid dribbling stats with tight possession 70 and ball control 71. That could be game changing if you are used to playing with terrible center halves. Kunde is our top choice, lads, right? Yes, he is a bit small. I think he's suited more as a right back or a, a three man center back partnership. That is kind of the meta at the moment, obviously. Um, but this guy is the real deal, man. I've come up against him so much in V2.4, and he's just a monster, an absolute monster. Every player skill that you could possibly want for a defender. He's got the speed. He's got the dribbling. He's got, you know, the defense in the high 90s or the mid 90s for every stat. I don't think that there's a better player pound for pound for 260,000 GP in the game. So that's how high I rate him. He's got unwavering form. He's got everything that you could possibly want to dominate. As I said, the probably three guys that I would pick out of this are, um, if you are building a, a new squad now, would probably be Koulibaly um, and probably be Koundé. And then I would say Marquinhos. If you've got a back three or a back five with those somehow in it, or a back four with three center backs, and then a really mobile left or right uh, back or right back, uh, left back or right back, you are going to have a very, very hard to beat team. And especially with the defensive stats being so high, it is going to be difficult to break it down when the AI are defending for you and you don't have to manually defend as much. So some of the players you do need to manually defend with, like Timber, uh, Kunde, but the rest of the players you can just kind of auto defend with them because that's where v2.4 is at kind of at the moment so that is it for me lads we'll be back with another video quite soon hope you enjoyed this one don't forget to subscribe let me know if you have any recommendations or any feedback and let me know if i missed out on anybody or overlooked any center backs that are dominating for you all right lads good luck